Hey everybody, it's Naked Blind Day with Savion Blanc. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so like I said, today is another wine from my Naked Wines box that I received pretty recently. Uh, this is the Rob Easterup Hawks Bay New Zealand 2018 Reserve Sauvignon Blanc. It's 12.5% alcohol by volume, and the angel price for it is $12. Uh, now, I do have something cool to say regarding this, and uh, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and do it before I even review the wine. So Naked Wines has done a really cool thing where before they gave me an affiliate link, or I guess their brand ambassador link, and it allowed for you to get $100 off your first order of 160 or more. Well, they didn't think that was a good deal. So now, using the link below, you can get six bottles for $34.99. So if you're interested in trying some of these wines that I reviewed for Naked Wines, it's really stinking cheap to do it now. So just go ahead and take a look at those, pick some that you like, or if you wanna join in with some that I've reviewed, try them out and let me know if I'm right or wrong on these things. But let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, screw top, plus one. And let's looky looky at this wine. Okay, so from a color standpoint, the wine I'm gonna give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose, ooh, noticeable amounts of grapefruit. A lot of grapefruit. A little bit of like a, an orange peel. Uh, got some lemon going on in there. Maybe not orange peel, one orange oil. It's, it's a, it smells like it's a bitter orange. A lot of grapefruit, slight grassy note to it and a little bit of like minerality. Yeah, just a little bit of like, like styline, a little bit flinty. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Let's taste it. Okay, so that is interesting. The grapefruit is there. It is not the strongest flavor. The strongest flavor is actually a green apple. So I'm getting green apple. The grapefruit is about the same intensity as that lemon that I, talk, I talked about mentioning. There is that slight, flint, just the ever most slightly flinty uh, note. Uh, but the, the other thing that's interesting is the grapefruit really doesn't pop in until going from mid palate into finish. And it, it's a subtle note the dominant note going through the whole thing is that green apple. But it smells so, it smells so grapefruity. And then you taste it, and it's like, it's there. But that green apple though. So it's, it's actually a little bit of a tart green apple too. I like it. From a structure standpoint, the body, the body is medium body. I can't talk today. Uh, acid medium plus. Uh, finish is medium. It's a dry wine. So, I mean, overall it's, it, it is quite nice. So let's take a look at you from the Blick criteria. So from balance, you're in balance. You get a full point there. Length, medium length, half a point. An intensity standpoint, uh, I would say you have a medium plus nose. And I mean, the fruit itself on the palate is pretty intense. So I'll give you a check there. And from complexity standpoint, I am getting a lot of citrus, some a little bit of tropical, uh, and a tiny bit of flintiness, but other than that, it's a very fruit forward wine. It's, it's, it, it does have a few clusters, so I'll give you half a point. Yeah, so overall, I'm gonna give you a very good, and uh, I'm sure that uh, that salad I have downstairs with a little bit of shrimp is gonna go very well with this wine. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Rod Eastrup Sauvignon Blanc? Reserve Sauvignon Blanc from Hawks Bay, New Zealand. Also, don't ever forget about Paris 1976. If you're interested, below the discount code for Naked Wines, there's a link. I'm just saying, just saying. But anyway, I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.